Jonathan Tucker, one of the stars of Kingdom that uh, has a season two debuting on audience. Good to see you, sir. Mr. Eisen. Great to see you again. Pleasure buddy. to be in your home, I, sir. Let me tell you something, Jonathan M. Tucker, as you are known on Twitter. Uh, kingdom is a great show, and it is yours. It is You are in this kingdom, and you own it, man. Here's a clip of Jonathan Tucker in this fantastic show, season two on audience tonight at 9 Eastern. So what's your story? Well, I don't, I don't know. What's my story? I think I, I'd start when I was born. You know, I came shooting out like a <laughs> missile. And at first, I was interested in soft food, but then I grew teeth. And I, I fell in love with red meat. It's all I wanted. I couldn't get enough of it. And I think that that started something in my brain, a sort of circulation that made me want to walk and talk and kind of grow up into the beautiful young man that you see before okay, you. OK, I get born. it. It was a stupid question. No, 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 no. It wasn't a stupid question, Mr. Melvin. I'm just trying to give you an honest, full-fledged reply. What do you do for a living? I'm a fighter. You are that, man. It's a great show, and you are awesome in it. Thank you. You are welcome. When you come, when you come back, we'll talk more about it uh, on the program with the radio audience. Jonathan Tucker is going to say a lot more than thank you when he comes back on the program. Welcome back to The Rich Eisen Show. Uh, I love this program. I love doing it every day. I love interacting with you folks who are out there watching and listening. And, and part of the reason why I love it is I love being on audience. I love being with the DirecTV and AT&T family. And the man to my right knows all about that because the superb program Kingdom that had a smash season one returns for season two on audience tonight at 9 Eastern time about uh, the drama and gritty world of mixed martial arts in Venice, California. Uh, Jonathan Tucker, welcome back to The Rich Eisen Show. A pleasure, Good sir. to see you. You own every single scene that you are in. Well, it is a you, team effort. I mean, it's just no, like I know here, that. you know, so we no, feel I know so that. lucky to have and everybody. And Frank Grillo's great in it. Everybody's great in it. Mount Laurie is great. Every single actor and actress they in the really show, are. It's just it just seems that you are, you just take the scenery and the, the scenes and the writing that you get and just chew it up and just Well, yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's a great writing. It's a great character. It's even, you know, that was the first time I saw that clip. And yeah, as we you just saw showed, my face. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, it's, I, look, I'm a Patriots fan. I'm a Red Sox fan. I okay. do come from New England. There is a sort of certain puritanical value system sure. that you are inculcated in from childbirth. So when you end up in a position like this as an actor, mm -hmm. it's a great opportunity, but it's also, it's, it's so far from who I am. Right. Um, so it's, uh, it can be a little embarrassing sometimes to sit there in a theater like we did just last week for, yeah, the, premiere for the premiere of the, of the episode and watch myself up there being, being a wild man. What, what, I mean, I, I don't even know if it's safe enough for work for me to describe what your character did or will be doing in the premiere of season two that's tonight. Uh, and, and, and Do you, yet... do you know the, the character is so wild? I've done so many crazy things that I have literally no recollection or I cannot point to actually what single moment you you're serious? talking about in uh, the episode. Are, are you serious? I really am. That, I mean, the character opens for the, in, in season one yeah. wearing a headdress, nothing but a headdress, <laughs> involved in a, a brief love affair with a woman who we probably won't see again. So, uh, right. you know, that's nice for my in-laws and my parents and, uh, and other friends and family <laughs> to, to see. So I, I literally cannot tell you what moment you're actually referring yeah, to. Yeah, I love that. Opening. Do you have to tell your family sometimes? Like, the, the fact that I look so comfortable and it is so natural and it well, is... So yeah, believable we about before, that that right? is not really me. That what you're seeing on you know, the screen. It's like, you said it looks like you're having so much fun. Out it there. does. And it's the same thing where I'm sitting back there watching this circle of life that you guys are doing. I'm <laughs> dying laughing. I mean, I was. I'm all alone in this in your in your green room, dying laughing. Uh -huh. And it looks like you guys are having so much fun, and yeah. you are having so much fun. And I'm having a great time too on this episode or on this on this program. Right. But it only happens when you you put in all the work. You know, the, your your audience doesn't often see you mm -hmm. pouring over. You know, sports. Uh, writing, yeah. you know, watching these games and really taking notes and thinking about what you're going to say. Sure. Uh, and, and same same things like even when I come on to right. our set, our, my crew doesn't see all the time and effort that I put in to prepare for sure. this role, the physical, the spiritual, um, the practical, you know, learning exactly what I'm going to say and mm -hmm. do um, so that it ends up looking as free as it does. And I will tell you, to transition that to, to the team of the hour, sure. the Patriots are doing a very similar job. Yeah, you know, they, they do They're open job. to the environment. Yeah. They're seeing that field. They put in a lot of hard work, and on game day, all you see is them go out there and just tear teams apart. I'm here with Jonathan Tucker from Kingdom tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern on Audience, season two premieres. They are just, and I said it on the last show, I've said it many times here on this show, it's just, they are so situationally brilliant where every situation 
short yardage, long yardage, ball on the ground. Oh, I love keeping and, coming. And, no, it's true. Keep ball it on the ground, and the offense thinks, oh, that's a dead ball. But somebody on the defense has a presence of mind picking it up and running it in. They, they, they do it almost every single they time. They build championship habits on the field and mm -hmm. off. Right. And I think that that will be demonstrated in a victorious uh, and un, mm -hmm. unyielding or un... Uh, uh, it'll be, it, you'll right. see this on Sunday, on with, Sunday. With, with the with the with the uh, with the team that tried to take us down. Right, right. sort of a kingdom like beat up I hope Sunday so. night. Yes. You believe? Yes. You I believe that so. is coming? Because Brady, I'm, I don't know if you were just coming here or you were already in the green room. I, to see I was that, watching but, the pressure. Uh, Brady right. yeah, basically sure. being, being accused of being a robot. Like, come on, man, just yeah. give us give us the true thoughts that's really inside your head. Well, it's the same thing. You know, I think do your job is the best piece of work advice that has been put out there mm -hmm. as of yet. I mean, it transcends sports. It transcends. Uh, economics or and uh, and sex. So the fact is, I mean, you know, women women get this. They understand this. Do your job. You got to put in the time and the effort. Um, I never really thought about that. Well, it's, uh, my point is, is that like it's not just people in the sports world who, sure. who appreciate what he said because it does really resonate mm -hmm. um, with all well, across across so many different levels and across so many different sort of jobs and professions and so on and so forth. Right. So there is something about d putting in that work and the fact is you don't you can never let them see you sweat. You know, it looks like you're having a lot of fun out here. Well, it looks I like am. I'm having a lot of fun in Kingdom. It looks like right. Tom Brady is effortlessly um, tearing, you know, teams apart. But there's a lot of work that goes on behind that, and he does his job. Jonathan Tucker here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. So who's your favorite Boston athlete of all time? If I had to give it, throw oh, it out boy. there. Oh, boy. I mean, Larry Bird. How do you, how do you Number miss? Number 33. 33. 33. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, I, I grew up with my old man, uh, who is a professor at the University of Massachusetts, Boston. And they were in a pool of season ticket holders at the, uh, the old garden, mm -hmm. and they were the nosebleed seats, but if you ever saw a game in the garden, you knew that every seat was great. And until it was torn down for the Fleet Center at that time, it was the largest indoor arena in the world without air conditioning. So, yeah. you know, they had the back doors open, people still smoking. It was, a, it, was a, it was an incredible thing to watch, and I got to see Kale, Mikhail Parrish and Bird play right. in those kind of wild seminal years of the late 80s. Yeah. It was just such a privilege to watch those guys yeah. and come all together. Of us, and all of us in New York despised them with every fiber of our being. Sure, in L.A., too. Well, well, ML Carr with the town. The best. I mean, no, uh, the, best, signed... the best, It's a, I have a different viewpoint of the best. It would, yeah, he would drive me nuts more than most, like, more than most, like, bro, look, you, you've got, you come out there for three minutes if you're lucky. Yeah. You maybe, you, you average 0. .1 points and 0. .2 rebounds a game, and you're there whipping the towel like you're He was a phenomenal spiritual addition to a team that demanded nothing but <laughs> support and success. <laughs> so I'll tell you, ML Carr was, he said, he, my, the first autograph I ever got was ML Carr uh, from my, uh, when I was born. My yeah. mom got his autograph for me. Is so I still have right? that. The ML Carr. Yeah. Well, you know, this is no offense when I say this. You know, this is the sports. He's a hype right? man, by the way. I mean, you need a hype man. Every every team needs a hype man. He needs a, do I have? Do we have a hype man here on the Rich Eisen yeah, Show? Del Tufo. Del Tufo, yeah, Del Tufo. Del Tufo, you're I'm a hype a, man. I'm a hype man. Yeah. No, and if not. University of Michigan had yeah. any sense of uh, sensibilities, yes. they would they would open up a position on their board of trustees for the uh, number one hype man. Who's not just good looking and successful, but God bless really you. has to whip that Michigan town. Are you saying I'm, I'm the I ML car? I think I'm the ML car. I think of this you, could, you could be the ML car for Michigan. He might not be wrong. Wow. Well, Jimmy, I, Jimmy came home. Yep, so I don't score, I don't rebound, nope. but I wave the towel. Wave the towel. Okay. Everybody Talk needs up. one. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Brockman, this is your guy right over here. <laughs> no, man. The I mean, two of you guys are bird of a feather. He's the best. Oh, Larry Bird of a feather. Larry right Bird, I mean, come on. Okay. But you know, I, did, I, did, I recently rewatched the Larry Bird retirement night, which I went to. I still have the bag, perfectly sealed. What do you mean you rewatched? Oh. I watched it on YouTube because I okay. saw the game from the nosebleeds from right. these, you know, pooled season tickets that I had. Yeah. And I rewatched it, and I realized, you know, Larry Bird was not as dynamic of a personality as I had <laughs> imagined as a young man, particularly in contrast to Magic Johnson. Uh -huh. And I always, or not, yeah, Magic Johnson. I was like, I know. always, I always was like, oh, Larry Bird, Larry Bird's the man, Larry Bird's the man. And then I watched Magic come out there, and I was like, boy. Magic has something to offer. Yeah, he's, this guy's pretty fantastic. The best part of that is Magic Johnson pulls open the, his Lakers warm-up. That's right, when he sits down on the bar on the stool. And so he it was has, just two stools And he has there. a Celtics uh, T-shirt on or anything. Oh, my it was, And it was, just, it was just as Magic Johnson had revealed the fact that he had AIDS. Yeah. And he comes back to this town that's known for racism and for homophobia. And he was so embraced, you know. It was such a, a magnificent night, and I remember everybody in that garden choking up. And so uh, yet another example of why sports can be such a uniting um, factor 
in the world and for people. Jonathan Tucker of Kingdom that debuts season two tonight at Jonathan M. Tucker on Twitter as right. well as Instagram as well. So how much training do you do for your role in this, for real? Uh, I, I mean, there's a lot of things in the show um, that I can tell you I know as well or better than a real fighter. Mm -hmm. For instance, cutting weight or diet and training. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things I'll never be able to really know. Okay. You know, what it's like to enter into a cage and lock that cage mm -hmm. and face another uh, fighter like that. Um, or to have the stakes that those fighters really have. And, and what we're really trying to do on the show and what I'm trying to do mm -hmm. is to honor these guys and honor their families and their supporters uh, and the fans of the sport. There hasn't been a show on the air that, um, that puts these guys front and center, like doctors or lawyers or mm -hmm. uh, firemen, they've got shows, but there's not a show for MMA. And um, there's a lot given up, a lot of sacrifices made, and a lot of hard work, and we're trying to honor them. And it's great. Seriously, this cast is fantastic. The writing is great. The directing is great. It is a really, uh, it's a, an intense watch. You feel like you're spit out at the very end of, a, of an hour-long program. Yeah, we're, and we're going into our, th our, our third season, essentially, and it's, um, it's an great. intimidating physical mountain to climb back up on, yeah, but sure. you've got people like Matt Loria and Nick Jonas. Uh, who are right there along alongside? So you know that mm -hmm. it, you know there's no there's no slouching when you got those guys next to you. And only one of those people uh, plays softball with Chris Law, right? Nick Jonas, you play softball with Nick Jonas. I did. Uh, Philly Mac Flyers. Nick Nick Nick's on the team. Nick he, Nick, he, Nick Matt's clean up. He's doing it. Well, I think the one that uh, Nick was the one who let us know Chris Law is a singles hitter. Yeah, he totally threw me under a bus did. by the way that? in a meeting with with uh, yeah, Law. Hit, look, getting to base is getting to base. Yeah. I mean, if you bat 300 in, the, in you know in the MLB, you're good. You got a straight shot to you know, uh, the Hall. Of fame. When sees this big burly guy come up, they how say many, they'll back up. How many singles hitters are there in Cooperstown? Are there any singles hitters in oh, Cooperstown? Yeah, Pete Rose ain't. Well, they won't let Pete Rose in. Well. <laughs> so you're the Pete Rose of the softball league. Is, that, is that where we're going? I would if I could. But. That was a circular route right there. I've come, I've come to a few of the, uh, those Philly yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you, you really? You yeah. came yeah. to the I'm playoff vocal. game where Very things vocal. got a little intense. You've been in, are you serious? I actually, this is going to be an exclusive for the Rich Eisen's show. Yeah. I actually have a uniform, a Philly Mac Flyers uniform that I have yet to don as the wow. assistant manager to to, uh, to, to John Taylor. To one John Lloyd Taylor. You got it. Yeah, so I haven't I haven't put it on yet, but I'm sure that there's an opportunity for you to join the team, too, if the bar was set so low for me to get on. <laughs> well, you know what? If Law gets on, I'll drive him in. You can be the ML car, the no, Philly Mac no, Flyers. No, no, I can drive him in. I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm a good pull hitter. I'm a week. great pull hitter in softball. Ayers. Great, if I may say. Great. We've heard reports from from the uh, charity event you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was wiffle ball, but well, my, I think it's translatable. My buddy's a Cubs fan, and he came to me yesterday and said, "You know, this is so exciting. Mm -hmm. This is so great." He goes, "I finally know what it's like to be a New England fan. I get it. I'm so excited. I'm going to go home. I'm going to get tickets. I, my my family's excited." And yeah. you're looking at me like with a sense of disdain. No, right no, now. because it's just I just remember when you were in that seat, man. That you were and like the Cubs were... fans. You were like the Cubs fans. I like the Cubs fans. No, no, well, I, well, I was unhappy. Yeah, 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 sure. You know, sure, well, the look, curse this, curse that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, know? things have turned around. Oh, I don't so. look at you with disdain at all, sir. And until you tell me about ML Carr, then you and I are going to have to throw down until we actually throw down, and then I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to either, nor run the 40 yard dash. <laughs> <laughs> run, Rich, run. Good to see you, brother. It's a pleasure. Thank sir. you Thanks for coming for in. Appreciate Again, congrats on a, um, being part of a fantastic show. Again, that debuts season two style tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern on Audience. Jonathan Tucker on Kingdom. Come back in time okay uh, thanks a lot you bet We're the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience